Wood isn't just wood. It's an incredibly sophisticated engineering structure, composed of three main components working in perfect harmony. First, there's cellulose. If wood were a building, cellulose would be the steel beams. It's made of long chains of glucose molecules intertwined like microscopic steel cables. In fact, fiber by fiber, cellulose is stronger than many metals. Then we have hemicellulose, which acts like the mortar that binds the bricks together. It connects the cellulose fibers to each other, giving the structure flexibility. And finally, lignin. This is wood's natural glue, the adhesive that holds everything together and protects the structure from decay. Together, these three components create a material that is strong, flexible, and surprisingly resilient. But here comes the interesting part. They also create limitations. Because it turns out that those same components that make wood so versatile also hold it back. Lignin, for example, while protecting wood, also makes it heavier and less dense than it could be. Hemicellulose, while providing flexibility, also introduces weaknesses into the structure. It's as if nature had created a superhero, but kept him asleep for millions of years.